Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jeff. You all know me. Uh, just want to do a quick little update. Uh, I'm going to try to start doing these as much as I can in video form. They're a little bit easier for you guys to consume. Um, we may not get them every week, but we're going to try to. I just want to give everybody some updates uh, on what's going on up here at the box. Uh, to finish out this week, it's Wednesday right now, uh, and I've just got a couple minutes here before class. But um, first off, uh, thank you everybody who did the survey and helped us out a ton with where what direction we want to take the box. Um, we had our fourth birthday on May 1st uh, this year. Thank you everyone for coming out and more importantly thank you for being a part uh, of this place and our family. It means a lot to me and the staff up here and of course the members. So thank you and happy birthday to everybody I guess. Um, next let's uh, talk about programming. Uh, we want to take programming uh, a little bit back to kind of the original novelty that CrossFit provided everybody, uh, a little bit more community atmosphere by introducing or reintroducing more of uh, the named wads, the girl wads, uh, things that people will ask you, hey, what's your Fran time? Well, I've never done Fran. What's Fran? We want you guys to have that here. Uh, they're also great baseline tests, and we're just going to work them into the actual programming. Uh, there will be more simple workouts, which will be couplets, triplets, uh, multiple movements will appear in chippers, but there won't be uh, rest, go, 3,000 different movements into some specific complicated layered training. What we're really looking for uh, is to provide the best possible stimulus for your body, and that doesn't always need to have a lot of layers onto it. Some of our training will seem a little bit more complicated on some days, but we'll be there to walk you guys through it. Um, moving on from there, we'll be having some seminars as well to help you guys accumulate uh, proficiency in certain skills and lifts. Charles is going to start off start us all off with a uh, active sem or seminar on active lifestyle for people who sit very often for work. So if you're in a car, you fly a lot, uh, you're at a cubicle, sitting versus standing. Uh, there's a great there's a lot of uh, great knowledge that he has and uh, wisdom to provide us with to help people be more pain free if you have that lifestyle. Uh, also, we'll be having a gymnastics seminar after that. We'll be having an Olympic lifting seminar after the gymnastics seminar. So we have three lined up so far. Uh, we're going to release the dates on those soon. Uh, they're not going to be very expensive to attend. Um, we will open those up to all the members here. And we'll probably eventually, if not in the first couple tri couple times, uh, release those or open those up to general public as well. Um, our goal is to get you guys to either PR, improve your lift, or uh, achieve a skill in gymnastics or uh, get closer to mastery of certain movements. Um, finally, the nutrition challenge that we are doing is the new Lurong Living Summertime Challenge. I will be doing a meeting on that for everybody who signed up for it this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. If you don't make it, I'll have it videotaped. Don't worry. Unless something bad happens with the videotape, then worry. Uh, I'll go over the basic skeleton outline of how the challenge is going to run and do a Q&A session with everybody. Um, I think that's it for so far. I want to keep this really short. Uh, for starters, I have a lot of stuff to say, but... Uh, I talk enough as it is already. Uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, I'll try and make another one of these Monday and kind of let you guys know what's going on. Oh, last thing. You know what? Let's not. I was going to review the rest of this week's programming with you guys, but whatever. It's a surprise. Uh, I'll see you guys later this week. Have fun. If I don't see you till uh, next week, have a great weekend. See you guys.